<laughs> Let's see, what would be a good thing to read? What's in there? Well, let's Is there a John 3.16 in there? I'd like to hear how that sounds. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John 3. It should be there then. 14.15. The Great Spirit loves this world. Good morning and thank you for listening to Winds of Praise Broadcasting. <coughs> this is KWPBLP Newport and it's 7.30 in the morning. And we've been listening all morning to... Jerry and Leslie Chapman playing from their album called Drum Speaker. And guess what? They're here. Yes, they're here in the We're studio. We're here live. That's right. I'm so blessed and honored. And let me say hello and make sure your mics are working. Uh, say hello to you first, Jerry. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm great. You're looking good. And Leslie over there and normally uh, Colleen McNeil's chair. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. And Let us rejoice. Oh, man. And then Dan Lundy, I invited you in, and you got a camera right now, so we'll be posting that later to YouTube. But uh, how about saying hello? I got a microphone on YouTube. Well, howdy. Good morning. Good to be here. <laughs> Yay. And so uh, the reason we've been playing from the music is that it's awesome. Uh, and then we all have been celebrating the life of a friend, uh, Bob Ledbetter, whom I played an ID from earlier. And I look right in front of me, and I see a picture of his book. That he wrote called Turnaround. Well, Bob is in heaven. Yes. Amen. 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 Betcha. He's got no more trouble. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, that's not even a way to talk about it. No, he's telling jokes to the cloud of witnesses right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, you think of a funeral like a somber, crying thing. No. That's not the case. No, it was celebration. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, you guys came uh, at Meg's request. Absolutely. You've been friends. Yes. Um, tell us about it from your perspective, Bob. Bob Ledbetter. How did you guys know each other? Well, Bob will impact wherever he goes. Yeah. He is a character, is and always will be a character. His humor, his wit. You know, and I highly recommend the book too. Uh, Turnaround is a great book yeah. to. Uh, uh huh. To, to read and I've read it this would be my third time going around and when I fo helped forward the book it was exactly that I highly recommend uh, turn around again and again so Bob uh, met with us at powwows he supported us as a musician he would travel and play bass guitar for me if we're ministering somewhere and he drove like I shared this weekend he drove from here to Auburn, Washington, for just just for the weekend, just to play bass for us. That's what kind of guy he was. Really dependable guy. Yeah, and uh, Dan and Larita they hosted a potlatch here in Solettes, and you guys came for that. Yes. And yeah. We did. Someone I don't know who it was, but someone set up a camera and recorded like a half hour or fifty minutes of you playing, hmm. and uh, not much. I mean, I'm glad they didn't get us from the stage because you're a uh, you're an awesome player, and you've played with some of the best. You know, you're, I was going to joke and say you're famous for being a truck driver. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but also, you're famous as, and known as the drum speaker, yeah. and you build uh, fabulous drums, and we, we're going to have you sing. You've brought a beautiful drum, and you won't be able to see it on the radio, but could you hold that up so Dan can see And And you also got a book that you're ready to read, so I just wanted to see this drum first. One thing at a time. The artwork was by a good friend, Mark Dykstra, from Longview. So we... There you go. Yeah. And then yesterday, uh, in our worship service at Solettes, you presented a, a beautiful new drum that uh, had a green lining on it. And you played from it. And our, our YouTube recording wasn't that good, our video. But your segment... Of that, I'm going to cut it out and present it. And, yes. and you spoke a word over Celeste. Yes, you know, the uh, Holy Spirit leads me to, to build drums. And I'm in the shop and I'm praying and how to build something different, unique, that would be honoring for Him. And uh, He will show me. I will build it. 
and discovering on my own uh, the different textures of hides, uh, you'll find one hide uh, uh, more applicable for uh, resonating. So this drum, goat skin, double sided, thin shelled, is just absolutely a voice of its own. And then the colors, uh, I have uh, six, eight drums in my shop, or six, actually two went away, so I have four in my shop of different colors and I'm praying that each color will represent itself and yesterday uh, bringing this up in the church uh, I asked the question uh, the color green what yes. does the color green new represent? life right. new life yeah and uh, there was a prophetic word that was spoken over uh, over your church and over you that uh, God was going to do a new thing he's going to give you a new song and uh, so <laughs> and playing that for the first time publicly in that church meant uh, a bunch. Well, and then you were also playing uh, from, you had a combination drum, and Dan, you actually built a, a drum kit that sits in our church, and you used what you have, the few pieces that are left, because people keep buying your drums. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you had a good combination of yours and Dan's. Yes, I love that. He did a good job of uh, uh, building the stands and allowing those uh, those drums to be used like that, yeah. so that worked out well. Now, you also, um, you presented a book, we sang a song from, uh, let's see, what, what did we sing? From the Great Above one, or? Well, from the book that you're holding. Um, oh. My mind is just going blank, but we sing songs from southern, uh, the southern United States. You know the folks. Oh, the Wildmans. The Wildmans. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On yeah. of Eagles. Yeah, on Eagles' Wings. Yes. Did they write that one? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that all of their rain song. Okay. Rain song. Rain song. From Rain Song. Mm -hmm. I, my mind just went blank. But tell us what you got there, Jerry. And well, maybe um, helping out with uh, Terry Wildman, we yes. were on the phone a couple of times. And uh, they've uh, put together uh, a, a Bible version called First Nations Version, an indigenous translation of the New Testament. And he sent a case of, of samplers, so Les and I are helping uh, distribute these uh, Bibles uh, and samplers in the Northwest. So we're one of the contacts for them. So we're happy to do it, and we actually enjoy it. And I have a scripture here in uh, John 3.16. I don't know if you've heard this scripture before, but uh, <laughs> uh, it says here in their version... The Great Spirit loves this world of human beings so deeply He gave us His Son, the only Son who fully represents Him. All who trust in Him and His way will not come to a bad end, but will have the life of the world to come that never fades away. Full of beauty and harmony, Creator did not send His Son to decide against the people of this world but to set them free from the worthless ways of the world. That's beautiful. Well, I think so. Well written. Yes. And uh, we can connect to that. Okay. And we're looking forward to this coming out, I think, the first week in August. And in the back of the sampler, it has an email ministry. Uh, it basically, it's spelled out, uh, ministry at ivpress.com. But I'll let you share that. We're linked up, and uh, okay. So when people, I know people are going to want that, and uh, mm -hmm. our time goes so fast. This is uh, sure. Winds of Praise. We're broadcasting live. We just get a half hour on Mondays and Fridays. Normally, Colleen McNeil is here with Ernie Moquin, and they're both away. And then Rob Dupra usually comes in on Fridays. So this is Monday, and I wanted to ask you. I want to <laughs> have you sing, uh, but Leslie, you're sitting there, and did I hear you say? You've been married 43 years. 43 years, good yes, grief. in August. I thought Kelly and I were doing good because uh -huh. we're celebrating 40. And Dan and Loretta have celebrated 50 already. How many you got? We're going on 54. Go! Amazing, huh? And Colleen and Dan, uh, Colleen is not here. I think they are just celebrated 59 years. Wow. So. Isn't God good? He Amazing. is good. Amazing. But, uh, again, um, let's sing something. Sure. You know how it would be impossible to not have you in here and, and not have you sing. 
And again, if you're listening to the radio, you can't see this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful drum. Um, and tell us about the drum, Jerry, before you play. Well, uh, for those uh, super traditional people, yeah. um, you're going to hear <laughs> a non-traditional drum that is a synthetic drum made by the company Remo. And they've copied our hand drums, finger drums, the African djembes are all copied and imitated, but they do it in a, in a synthetic way that uh, in conditions like the Northwest, we have a lot of moisture, but humidity. Right now. right now it's wet and you can play this drum in the rain. And this actually was a gift to me. And, uh, and I built them a, a traditional drum, but, but they, uh, Dara uh, had said, would you like to have this drum? I said, sure. But I quickly <laughs> took it apart, took the wood handles off, and I had an artist paint it in a very traditional way, and it's got a turtle representing Turtle Island, yep. feathers, uh, our native uh, design, and then our handles. And um, anyway, um, good friend again, Mark Dykstra, who did the artwork, who's willing to just do it for us. And uh, he does an incredible job. And I was going to do a song. Uh, it's a poem that was that we took from the Spokane Chief Spokane Gary book, uh, the story of Spokane Gary, and in his book, which I highly recommend, uh, is is a poem, and he was a minister, a pastor, an evangelist, and, and in his time from the Spokane tribe, mm -hmm. and uh, he ministered all around in the regions uh, there in Idaho and all in Oregon and Washington. So, I'm hoping one day that I'll get to meet the descendant of Chief Spokane Gary, who happens to be a police officer in the city of Spokane. Oh. So I'm looking forward to playing this song for them and where they can release it for, to me to play. So this is called The Wonderful Things. Christ the Savior given on earth I love to sing around our King And hail Him, blessed Jesus There's no word here ever sweet as Jesus. Hey, Yahweh. Hey, hey, Yahweh. Hey, 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 hey Yahweh. Hey, I'm so glad you're my father in heaven He tells of his love in the book He's given the wonderful things in the Bible This is the dearest Jesus Amen. 
song you're listening to Winds of Praise. We're broadcasting live at the moment at 746 on the 17th of May 2021 and that was Jerry Chapman known as the drum speaker who's here with his lovely wife Leslie and Dan Ken uh, I was gonna say Dan Kennedy. I used to work with Dan Kennedy over at a Christian radio station and uh, Dan Lundy got that camera and so we'll be putting that on YouTube later on. Well, Dan, the reason I brought you in here, and let me, let me take the camera after I talk, is that you have been a bridge for Kelly and I. Kelly Albright, uh, the editor of The Post, and we've been doing Winds of Praise for now 23 years, but you have been a friend, Dan, to us, and you have been a bridge into a culture that we would never have been exposed to. I wouldn't know you, Jerry, or, or Leslie, if it weren't for Dan. And I want to thank you for that, Dan. Um, the first time I came, I was just thinking of this. I came from Idaho, uh, a white guy, you know, cowboy land. And I came over and I was working for KNPT back where Fred Meyer is now located. Okay. And they had a little studio there and I got hired as a, a news reporter and eventually became the news director of all things. It's like, what? But I remember specifically walking out the back of the studio with cowboy boots on and I stepped on a slug and I didn't know about slugs, <laughs> you know, <laughs> here on the coast, of course, they're huge. And uh, we had snails and that type of thing, but I go, whoa, so you don't want to mess with slugs. And that was my, my introduction to the coast. But um, Dan, we've been friends for a long time. And, uh, we wouldn't know this culture, this Native American culture. Um, and I'm honored just to be a a small part of it to be able to sing the song and the first time I heard a song like Yahweh it's like what are you even singing about and so let me take the camera and, and get you to talk for a second Dan because you're awful quiet I think cameramen are supposed to be quiet <laughs> <clears throat> yeah we've been uh, doing stuff together for over 20 years now Scott Rita and I talked about it the other day and it's been a while and, uh, and it's been quite a ride, too. Our position has always been that, uh, well, actually God put this on our heart, that all cultures have value, and we need to be together. And Jesus came for all cultures, all people, everywhere. And sometimes we need a, uh, a way to speak the gospel into a culture that they can understand better. Sometimes it's a healing way because Christ was misunderstood so badly by the actions of so many in the early days, you know, in the conquest days. Uh, so we need to speak forgiveness, we need to speak togetherness, and you've helped us in so many ways, Scott, uh, in our traveling, in our meeting people, evangelizing, uh, doing what we can to speak for Jesus. You know, and to make introductions to Jesus in a good way so that yes. people will think, you know, maybe I need to take another look at this thing called Christianity. And that's what it's about. We're all in this together. We all are plugged in in different ways, different places. It's such an honor to serve with you, and it's an honor to serve with these two. I know. My goodness. Uh, thank you for being here, both of you. Yes. You know, uh, and Leslie, you know... He'd probably be a bum on the street if it wasn't for you <laughs> and Jesus, of well. course. I know I would be if it wasn't for my beautiful wife, Rita. <laughs> well, you know, Jerry, uh, you were talking to Dan about the book written about Celeste, and is it called They're Dancing Again, that book? Is the People Are Dancing the, Again. The People Are Dancing. And Jerry, you said there was a point where you, you couldn't read. You couldn't read it, and I, I wondered to myself, is that because it was so 
hard and still is? Well, um, we as human beings are, can be a very cruel uh, people. And from, from the very beginning, man has tried to destroy each other. And it just, uh, it trickled down. And so the history for those, and I try not to bring up much in the way of negative history so much as to learn from it. We can't take that away. And when you look at every people group on the planet, they all have a story that, that, that's, that's painful. So we as First Nation on the coast, and we as from Stalo Nation is where I'm from. I was born in Vancouver, British Columbia, but live in Longview, Washington. There's the Cowlitz tribe, the Chinook, Chehalis are all there, and they all have the same story. So yeah. it was difficult to read those first three chapters of the history, the, the decimation of the people, the land that was uh, taken, and the people literally uh, forced off their land so uh, the government and even the churches could benefit. So a lot of these cities that uh, we're in, in on the coast here were native lands. And so they're, we're looking for healing as Dan was Amen. saying. We yeah. want to work together, yep. walk together. And in order to do that, Dan and I, sitting here, have to forgive what has happened in our past. So in Jesus' name, right now, I just pray over Dan, the Celeste tribe, and uh, we pray over Stalo Nation, and we pray for all the surrounding native tribes mm -hmm. that have been decimated and removed, yeah. and they're, they're hurt and bitter. To this very day, we have our native people that will speak bitterness uh, to this very day against the white community. And I understand their pain because I felt it, and sometimes it creeps up. But in the name of Jesus, yes. by the shed blood of Calvary's cross, yes. we ask right now for yes. a healing of our lands, yes. that only you can heal, Lord, that you could speak to our nations, yes. speak to the nations, Lord, and wherever this radio broadcast goes, Lord, uh, send it out, Lord. I just pray a healing balm right now over the pain and the hurt and the broken hearts and the devastation of cultures, but Lord, that you are the great Redeemer. Lord, you can restore anything. So, Father, we ask that you would restore Salets and the surrounding tribes right now. And, and we come as guests to speak on this land, to sing and drum on this land. But we ask permission and do a protocol of uh, what is necessary to begin the process of ministry in this region. So, Lord, thank you. Thank you for your healing touch. Yes. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray that. Jesus name. Amen. It was prophesied thousands of years ago in Second Chronicles 7.14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. And that's, that's New Testament language in the Old Testament. Yes. It's prophetic. And it's one of the scriptures that we all stand on. It's a yes. promise. Yes. You know, the, the gospel does not return void. The word of God lasts forever Amen. above That's all right. things. Amen. That's, That's right. right. Amen. I just want to declare um, Psalms 133 over the people of the land. How truly wonderful and delightful it is to see brothers and sisters living together in sweet unity. And we just call that <coughs> forth over our First Nations brothers and sisters. We call for that sweet <coughs> unity. Holy Spirit, I just pray today that you would rise up, rise up in another level, another level yes, of your Lord. glory yes, yes, to release yes. that unity. Yes, we claim it yes, today we in Jesus' <laughs> mighty name. Amen. Amen. Wow. Well, there we go again. Um, we're almost out of time. Here, I'll give this back to you, Dan. You know, yesterday uh, for Bob's celebration, Jerry, you came down to lead that, and that's on YouTube. Meg allowed us to, to post that up so you could actually go to my channel, Scott Albright. But there was a time when, Dan, you were practicing a song, and uh, then right before the event was to start, um, it got quiet. And I, I, 
I, I tried really hard to stay quiet myself because my tendency is like, I gotta do something. But I love the quiet. And I, I realize that, that that can be a special moment in itself. You know, why do we always have to use words and, and, and interrupt? So when we have a quiet time, Scott, don't freak out. And I just want to thank you guys for being here and sharing from your hearts. I'd like to quote a friend really quickly. <laughs> Name's Frank Parrish. He's re recovering from heart surgery yep. right now yep. in uh, Arizona. But he always told me, Dan, preach the gospel 24-7, 365, and when absolutely necessary, use <laughs> words. Yeah. Thank you, Frank. End of quote. Very good. And so we do lift him up, Father, before you, because he is recovering from quadruple bypass. Yeah. And they tried to find veins, we were told, in his legs, and they couldn't find the right size, and they almost stopped the surgery, and they kept digging, and they dug into his feet oh and found some veins. Wow. And they got the thing done, so he's going to be recovering for a while. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it's a privilege. You know, he's all over the world, too, um, yeah. into third world countries. and. Mm -hmm. uh, bringing the gospel and and how how to proceed. So, what's up? What's on the slate for you guys? I well, we're looking back first. Uh, you know, we've been overseas, Indonesia, uh, Jakarta, Indonesia. We've been South America. We've been to Europe, but the Lord obviously has slowed things down. And Leslie and I have stayed home in a good way and helped out our church. Our church is Evangel in Longview, Washington. Wonderful church, family. So we are coming to places like Siletz, and we're going to Bend, Oregon in a couple of months. Mm -hmm. And we've got a few other things kind of slated, but I think as Leslie was encouraging all of us that we need to get some music down and, uh, and honor that. God birthed that in us, so uh, I need to be obedient. And, Anyway, we're going to put some new songs together, and hopefully, maybe next time we'll have another uh, album for you to play. And uh, website, how would how would people find more about you? Uh, Jerry Chapman Ministries at WordPress.com. We're on Facebook as Drum Speaker. Right, and I would also say that there's a wonderful video that you can still find on YouTube. If I were to look for it, I would look for Azusa. Celebration, recent, and and what there was there was a big gathering down in California to celebrate the outpouring of the Spirit. And by the way, right now is Pentecost. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. But uh, a big, well-known revival started in Azusa, California, and a bunch of people were down there celebrating a bunch of years ago. I don't know how many years ago. And my daughter, my young daughter, says, "Dad, you got to watch this." And it was on God TV. And we were watching this celebration, and in the midst of all this, I see someone, I go, that looks like Jerry Chapman. And sure enough, you were on the stage, Jerry, with your really beautiful hat and a hand drum, and you were leading drummers and shofar singers right. and players. It was like, wow. It was a powerful time. Beautiful time. <clears throat> the Lord brought together First Nation leaders from all over Canada and the United States, and uh, the Lord led the whole thing. It was powerful. It was very powerful. So you can still see that, and I love you. I just love tuning that in. You can find it online. But yes. Thank you guys so much. Sure. Uh, thank you for coming here. Thank you, Meg, Le <laughs> McGregor, for inviting them. And thank you for being friends, Dan. Thank you for coming in. You're welcome. This Thanks was for great. having thank you. us. Thank you. All right, and uh, we we look forward to all that is to come. Again, we'll put this video on YouTube and uh, try to share a link. And we'll go back to our normal programming. And uh, normal programming. <laughs> <laughs> so God bless you and thank you. And here we go. You're listening to Wings of Praise.